So it's Lumastaka here, and back with you for the Mega Coin Grading Unboxing. And uh, we've got a, another little box that uh, was inside the big box. And uh, this one was a bit of a surprise, to be honest, because I wasn't expecting this at all. And uh, it turns out that NGC have sent me a little present to say thank you for my custom. Um, so maybe this is to go to all their customers to celebrate their anniversary. I don't know. Maybe it was special for me, but I really appreciate it. So thank you very much, NGC, for sending me this year's uh, Red Book. Uh, I only had last year's, so it'll be interesting to take a look through this one. And uh, gifts like this are really appreciated. And uh, again, thank you very much, NGC, for uh, for your kind gift. Um, just great. 71st edition 2018 of the Big Red Book. So, onwards and, uh, and upwards. Next big box of coins from the NGC Mega Upgrading. And... Uh, Let's have a look and see what's inside this box. So, uh, lots and lots of coins. Some of them you can see are double width coins. Some of the slabs are a little bit bigger. They do actually have a, uh, a grey box now that fits the larger slabs that you can get as well. So, uh, there's a whole variety of things, I'm pretty sure, in this box. Starting off with uh, the Royal Baby. 2015. The Mint Sixpence. This is the 2016 Royal Mint Sixpence in the style of an old Sixpence, but actually it's a new Sixpence. Uh, and they sell those on the Royal Mint website uh, and they're kind of quite useful presents for, uh, for baby, childbirth and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, on to the Monkey King. Uh, one of my favourites. I love the design of the Monkey King on the front of this coin, and this one got an MS70, which uh, did very much please its owner. Okay, so the next few coins are going to be Chinese uh, coins. They're from a, a collector who uh, is on the Silver Forum, and he must have the largest collection of modern Chinese coins known to man. And he, he comes up with some of the most interesting coins that I've never seen um, for uh, for grading. And this is a set that uh, I, I, I noticed uh, go out to NGC, and I really like them. I was very interested to see what would happen to them in grading. And I absolutely, this is probably, of all the Chinese coins that have come through here from this guy, uh, this is my favorite set. I, I don't normally like colorized coins, but I think it works so well with all the traditional costumes. So, uh, Full marks for this one. I, I love it. I really do. I think it's great. Okay. So this one is a, uh, a medal. The uh, the Great Buddha, Buddha Rooster Medal. Um, I think I, I've got one of these. I think I had mine sent last time to NGC. This is a really nice series to uh, keep up with. Not hugely expensive. Just really nice. And of course it's uh, a nice big thick chunky silver medal that is not too much money. Um, I think it's interesting just seeing so many of these Chinese medals and coins. I think the artistry that the Chinese have in these is great. Um, okay, This is a, a regular Fiat Panda, an MS-70. Very nice to get that, always very nice. This is another one of my favourites. This is the, the Snake Medal. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just such a nice thing. You know, I really do think that, um, you know, the, a lot of these things aren't terribly expensive, but they are high impact. Um, some of them are expensive, of course, but a lot of these things. For example, this one got a PF70. Lucky uh, Monero is selling these. Um, I think he's got a sale on at the moment. These are like over two ounces. No, just under two ounces, 60 grams of silver. And they're being sold at $66, including postage. I mean, <laughs> that is just amazing, really. This is a kind of effectively a two-ounce silver art medal, limited edition, being sold at not that much more than bullion. 
So uh, some of these others, you know, it's a great series of uh, of, of things to collect from China. Um, you don't seem to see a lot of this stuff around. You have to go and hunt for it. It's kind of hidden away, and you have to search and have the right contacts. Um, but it does make a great collection, and I think that in the future, modern Chinese coins are going to be one of those areas that show a pretty good uh, growth for the future. I mean, you should tell me in the comments what you guys think of uh, these modern Chinese coins. You know, there's a lot of coins here, not just the medals that I collect. I tend to collect more medals than coins, but uh, this particular guy collects pretty much everything that comes out, coins and medals. And some of this stuff is just so beautifully made, so well crafted, um, and pretty limited mintages as well. This one is the £20 for 20 Welsh Dragon coin. Um, it's one of the 20 for 20s, but it's only available, I think, from the Royal Mint shop in Llandrissant. Um, somebody who's Welsh will probably tell me how to pronounce that properly, so I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I mean, just look at this stuff. Just great. This is a nice big chunky peed fort, auspicious matters. Uh, NGC always say pie fort. I don't quite know where that comes from. And here's the other matching um, medal, another MS-70. Well, we're getting to the close of this half a box and we'll pick it up on the next box and see how we get on. <laughs>